I remember being in sixth grade and I I had to take the, the, the math test to get into honors math in seventh grade. And they were like, don't screw this up because if you screw this up, you won't get into honors math in seventh grade. And of course, if you don't get into honors math in seventh grade, you won't get into honors math in eighth grade. And then in not ninth grade, and then tenth grade, eleventh grade, and then you'll just die poor and lonely. And that's it, you know what I mean? It's like, it, you, I, I, you know, you believe in high school and the, you know, and a lot of it's kids, but the teachers and counselors and principals don't help things. They scare you into doing, into, into conforming and doing good in school by saying, if you're a loser now, you're gonna be a loser forever. So that with Eric and Dylan, right? Mm -hmm. You called them fag. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know what? If I'm a fag now, I'm a fag forever. And you wish someone just could have <coughs> grabbed him and gone, dude, high school's not the end of a year and a half or a year, was it? I don't even know. Yeah. A no, year? No, you just a year. move out? No, no, they, they, were two weeks, they were two weeks away from graduation. Yeah, you're done. You, you know, it's amazing how fast you lose touch with all those people. They just, just beat it in your head as early as sixth grade. Right. Don't fuck up because if you do, you're going to die poor and lonely. You don't want to do that. You're like, well, fuck, you know, whatever I am now, I'm that forever. And what it, of course, it's completely opposite. All right, the dwarfs in high school go on to do great things, and all the really cool guys are all like living back in Littleton at the insurance agency. It's completely, <laughs> it's almost person to person. It's, it's completely that way. And you just, yeah, if someone could have told them that, maybe they wouldn't have done it. But.